richer than I've ever been Thought it make a lot of sense Assume I wasn't on a student How I deal with politics Alright y'all, so for today's review We're gonna be going on the great wheel of posthumous albums again This time with Juice World's latest project, Fighting Demons And while... Well, alright then, so I guess we're not doing Juice World, but instead Rick Ross's latest drop, Richer Than I Ever Been. But hold on, wait a minute, let me just, this is the wrong cover, let me just change it real quick. There we go. But yeah, Rick Ross has come back with this lyricism and deep bass instrumentals to make for some attempts at a new sound, some revamps of what we heard before, and some things that should have stayed out of the album, honestly. Okay, so if y'all remember like 15 seconds ago, I said that this album was heavy on its lyricism. And when listening to this album over and over, I can definitely say that Rick Ross's rapping style is my favorite part in this project. With every beat he hops on, he floats, whether it be him rapping about how far he's come, materialistic things, or the size of his income, hence the name Richer Than I Ever Been. There's some serious wordplay on this album as well, with my favorite instances on the track Outlaws, Marathon, and The Pulitzer. I suppose at this day and age, while Rick Ross is getting older though, I can sense him converting more into that old head rap that I see nowadays with people such as Freddie Gibbs, Benny the Butcher, and Conway the Machine. But then again, no, Rick Ross came before all of them, so in a way he's the one who paved the road for everyone else. But that doesn't discern from some tracks tapping into his old ways, such as Rapper States, going in with this anthem style rhythm while still utilizing the prime lyricism from Ross to complement a solid beat. But as for the production, for the majority it was pretty good. There were definitely some highs on this album, with either that deep 808 or trumpet being used to help complement Rick Ross's rapping style. There's also some tracks with beats that feel way out of direction though, with other songs such as Can Be Broke, that sounds like something completely different from what I've heard from Rick Ross before, and doesn't really correlate with the rest of the album. But then you have tracks that more match the feature artist than Ross himself, such as Wiggle, with Dream Doll going way harder on this beat. But talking about features, they were pretty decent as well, with the only ones I didn't like being Wiz Khalifa on the track Hella Smoke, which to be honest, I feel like that whole song didn't need to be on this album as well. But other than that, I feel like everyone definitely did their job on their respective beats, with me really wanting to acknowledge the track Outlaws featuring Jasmine Sullivan who kills the chorus while 21 Savage completely takes over the song with only 40 seconds. But overall, this was a pretty decent album, but nothing too crazy. There were some tracks that didn't appeal to me too much or I didn't really feel needed to be on the album, which made part of this a bit boring, and I also feel like the track order was all over the place, especially with these quite different assortments of tracks and tones. So to put this on the scale, I'm giving this a strong 7 out of 10, with this being a nice little project from Rick Ross, but at the same time it definitely still needed some work. But how do you guys feel about Richer Than I Ever Been? Is this your favorite Rick Ross album? Let me know down in the comments while liking and subscribing, make sure to follow my IG and Twitter, and if you like the illustrations used in this video, make sure to follow the artist as well because she's dope. And oh yeah, make sure to follow my second channel, Wallows Gaming, for me outside of music. And on that note, I'll see you on Monday for whatever video I decide to upload. Peace. Hey. Ah,